Tim Soccer Tutus to in a dialogue. And to any truth yet, Socrates. No one then could say that there was anything wrong with the boy's natural powers. Perhaps not. But have you ever heard anyone, young or old, say that Cleosanthus, the son of Themistocles, was a good and wise man in the way that his father was? Certainly not. Must we conclude then that the Omnistocles as the aim was to educate his son and other accomplishments, but not to make him any better than his neighbors in his own type of wisdom, that is, supposing that virtue could be taught? I hardly think we can. So much then for the Omnistocles as a teacher of virtue, whom you yourself agree to have been one of the best men of former times. Take another example, Aristides of Lysimachus. Do you accept him as a good man? Surely. He too gave his son Lysimachus the best education in Athens, in all subjects where a teacher could help. But did he make him a better man than his neighbor? You know him, I think, and can say what he is like. For again, there is Pericles, that great and wise man. He brought up two sons, Paralus and Denethus, and had them riding, had them taught riding, music, athletics, and all the other skilled pursuits till they were as good as any in Athens. Did he not want to make them good men? Yes, he wants that, no doubt, but I am afraid it is something that cannot be done by teaching, and in any case, you should think that only very few and those most insignificant lack the power to give and consider that Thucydides, Thucydides also had two sons, Melusias and Stephanus, to, to whom he gave an excellent education. Among other things, they were the best wrestlers in Athens, for he gave one to Melusias to train and the other to Eudoxus. And the two who I understand were Consider the finest wrestlers of their time. Do you remember? I have heard of them. <clears throat> Surely then he would never have had his children taught these expensive pursuits, and yet refused to teach them to be good men, which you would have taught nothing at all as far as you could have been taught. You are not going to tell me that Thucydides was a a man of no account, for that he had not plenty of friends, both at Athens and among the Allies. He came from an influential family and was a great power, both here and in the rest of Greece. If virtue could have been taught, he would have found a man to make his sons good, either among our own citizens or abroad. Supposing his political duties left him no time to do it himself. <clears throat> no, my ear answered me. And any it looks as if it cannot be taught. You seem to me, Socrates, to be too ready to run people down. My advice to you, if you will listen to it, is to be careful. I dare say that in all cities it is easier to do a man harm than good, and it is certainly so here as I expect you to know yourself. And it just seems angry, Mina. I'm not surprised. He thinks I'm slamming a statesman. statesman, and moreover, he believes himself to be one of them. He does not know what slander really is. If he ever finds out, he will forgive him. And tell me, tell me, however, tell me this yourself. Are there not similar fine characters in the country? Um, you know.